Hey, what's up, uh, y'all? We're back in the, the the Wild Beyond Witchlight with the traveling brioches. Uh, we're missing some different people today, but we're gonna go forward and we're gonna see what happens. So to recap, I know Dano normally goes over it, but essentially you guys came to Bavorna, her her cottage. You crawled across uh, a uh, what is it called? A clothesline Broke. that ran out into the fog, and you came up to the side of the building. Dano has this magic rope that he like whipped up onto this balcony, and you guys were able to crawl up there to the second floor of that. Um, you entered a a dining room that had like goblin heads above the door, uh, and uh, a bunch of uh, dirty plates on the table and shit. Um, and then you found a, a room where they were making hooch. Which someone grabbed some, I think. Uh, I drank Yay. some and then drank, grabbed some. Okay, that ha that sounds about right. Uh, to the north, you guys found an empty bedroom with like mummified pixies and boxes. You find found a hallway with a bunch of paintings and artwork of just a bunch of different people, different races, all just frowning or screaming. None of them happy. Uh, a mirror is in that hallway as well, and a spiral staircase that goes down. In that hallway, there's a door where you heard female voices conversing. Uh, you assumed it was probably Bavlorna. No proof. You didn't look in. You went south. You found the hooch room. That's where you're at now. And uh, Dana was listening to the door to the right there, which I've replaced Dana with Uli now. Uh, and you guys hear chopping like like a, 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 ch -ch 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 what, uh, a butcher's knife slamming into wood and squawking. And that's oh, where we're man. at. You're outside this door. You hear squawking. Uh, the butcher knife stopped. And you guys, like, I think they're cooking. Get! Get! get. Uh, and that's, that's where we're at. Uh, so hang on. Actually, before we go, I had some things with the fog of war. So I'm going to drag this little guy around so you guys can see all the stuff that you could see. All right. It should be unveiling. I gotta play it. But the Flyers and the Blues play today. They're going. Yeah, I know. All right. I told Trev, we're gonna win. All right. Let's zoom into this room. Boki Bonks has gone into a trance. Uh, uh, Beck excuses himself. He feels like he's got to puke out on the balcony. He walks through the dining room and is just puking on the balcony at the moment. Uh, and you guys. Oh, too much brioche. Too much brioche, that's right. Uh, and now you guys stand behind this door here, contemplating what to do next. I think they're cooking inside. Let's get some food. Okay, well, yeah, I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. He's <laughs> Mushroom all. Mushroom all, yeah, that's right. So, Mushroom yeah. alcohol. So what do you guys think? All right, let's go in I, there. I'm following your lead. I'm not sure yeah, what's going on. I was wondering it. about the ingredients of this certain thing. I forgot. <laughs> okay. Wait, I just heard a door open, I think. All right. Yeah. So Gary goes go, Gary goes in first, uh, heading into this room. <coughs> Can I come behind brandishing cooking tools? Be like, do you guys need a helping hand? <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, you come up, coming up the the backside, or I don't know where you're at in the line. I got, I got a ladle, a spatula, probably maybe some like some uh, uh like a poking fork, whatever the fuck that thing's called, you know, with the two prongs. A poking fork. Sounds that's like you guys. I'm or, pretty sure. That's, that's what it's called now. Yeah. Uh, so you you come into this kitchen, uh, and, and immediately you see that there's these two birds squawking and try, fighting over a piece of meat. Uh, and this frick, this small little... Actually, I'll just give you the description. In this gore-splattered kitchen, a stout figure with a stained apron, iron boots, a crimson cap, and a bloody meat cleaver chases a pair of vultures around a butcher's block while the squawking birds fight over a scrap of meat. What were you going to ask? I was I was just going to ask if they were actual birds, but yeah, they're vultures. Yeah, they vultures. Uh, so yeah, they're squawking so over this thi this piece of meat, uh, and the the little this little dude, which I'll show you what he looks like here. Oh man, I love crows. What? 
That's what I'm, that's what I'm telling him. I love crows. Oh, I love crow. Oh, to the, to that guy. Oh, yeah. what the? F would you? Would somebody give me a hand here? Get these fucking assholes out of here! They just threw in, flew in through the window or the door. Is there a window in here or just a door? On the far side. <laughs> oh, there's a. Okay, so all the windows. Oh, goddamn. All right. Well, I messed up this map. So technically, you can see through the windows, but. It describes all the windows dirty as fuck, so you can't really actually see through them. Uh, but on the far side of the room, there's an open door that, that's open, and you can see a balcony out there and a couple of, like, cages hanging off of, like, arms, metal arms that are holding them out over the side of the balcony. All right. Can I uh, use Mage Hand to start swatting at the birds? I was, sure. But I, like, hold on, Gary. Maybe I can pull some food out. We can just... <laughs> it can be like kitty. <laughs> come here, come here, little vulture. <laughs> and then I can like throw it in the cage and see if they fly to the meat in the cage. Okay. Oh, okay. you're gonna th you're gonna go and throw them out into the cage oh, out on the balcony. Out yeah. There. For yeah. sure. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Well, give me a give me an animal handling with advantage because they obviously do want meat. They're really responding to the. <laughs> here, I'll drag you guys in. All right. So yeah, what what is it? You Animal just have a piece handling. of meat in your pocket. I mean, I always got food on me, man. I'm yeah. a walking refrigerator. Uh, I I got you for sure. All right. It's alt right. It's alt right. Same roll. Wow. A nine and a nine. Lame. Nine. Uh. Okay. Wait. An eleven. Wow. Can I um, bardically expire him? You would have. You would have had to done it before. Yeah. I rolled. yeah. Damn it. I mean, you can bardically inspire someone else to try something else. Uh, I mean, you're trying to get them out. Uh, one, I guess one of the birds is following, is slightly following you with the piece of meat. The other one is going to town okay. on the meat that's there. Damn. So, yeah, you can, I mean, you can I'm, lead one out if you want. That's cool. I'll, I'll lead one out while I'm, like, intermittently, like, pss, pss, pss. come here, come here, vulture. Come here, little, little guy. Come here. <laughs> okay. While I'm leading the other one, okay, you're leading them out to the balcony. Uh, and I you tell go, them I got botulism. You've got botulism. They love that. Yeah, I know they can digest <laughs> it. Holy shit, they go to town on all forms of botulism. Uh, okay, so you're you're like luring this vulture, uh, squawking, flapping its wings, slowly walking towards you as you make your way out onto this balcony. Uh, three large iron iron cages hang from wooden beams that extend out from this balcony over the lake below. Trapped inside one of the cages is a smiling satyr. Hello there. Uh, what's up, dude? Hello. Hi. You just you just hanging out? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Yes. Yes. Just pr uh, the the prisoner. That's hilarious. I know. I'm a PO in my in my free time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, well, is anyone doing anything else about this other bird? I was gonna speak with animals. Oh. Yeah, you can definitely do that. Okay, what are, you, what are you saying to this other bird that's just going to town on this leftover piece of meat? Be like, hey, dude. Did you see I heard there's free botulism had? outside. Yeah, that guy had, like, meat with botulism outside. That's, like, extra sauce. He's got <laughs> rotting, decaying meat with tons of diseases for free. All the diseases. Faux free. No upcharge. Dude, I, I no having, no it. having to deal with this guy with a a, a big curvy sword. You just go if out you there. Order, you get you get free disease meat. If you order now, you get a, a side of maggots as well. I was about to say, and make sure that you know he didn't say dis f free of disease meat. It's it's you get no. free disease with your meat. free disease free. with your meat. Free disease meat, not disease free meat. What? Like, at, at least at least free di free diseases in this free meat. <laughs> bro, bro, what the heck? Why? How come I get none of that freaking dirty ass meat? Shit, that's just like extra flavor, dude. That's like right, uh, sprinkling yeah, flaming hot tough. Cheeto stuff on top of your favorite meal. I, dude, I don't know. All right, fuck yeah. Uh, I, give me a persuasion with advantage for that. You're, you're talking hot to. Us. All right, all right. Uh, where? There we go. I'll persuasion him. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, fuck. Wait. Fuck. Yeah. Well, god damn it. All right. Um. <laughs> you also See, but now we're just going to be fighting over it. Wait. Again. How, how did I do that? I don't think I did that right. Did I? It does, I mean, you got a pretty good oh, roll, but you, you did it low. with disadvantage. Okay, so oh, you have a plus I? six, so you have three more than that. So it's a 19, actually. So it's, yeah, it's much better than that, even. Um, I, I guess that bird flies out after Uli now. Uh, but then now Uli's got these two birds on either side of him trying to get this one piece of meat that's out on the, the thing. Whoa, whoa there. You got yourselves a handful of, of meat. Yeah. I'm going to rip it in two, and now I got two pieces of meat. But... <laughs> All right, give me an athletics check. To tear this piece. Of, I don't know. Frickin'. <laughs> oh, no. Not Wait, why did I roll twice? Oh, you're halfling. Uh, oh, it's still nine. Okay, no, nine. Alex. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, oh yeah. Wait, it rolled automatically. That's cool. Yeah, it, it auto rolls ones for you. Um... Okay, great. Uh, so you're having trouble, but I finally rip it. It's, I mean, it takes a minute or so. Um, and I guess this... I'll just take my dagger out halfway through and just... <laughs> Cut it the rest of the way. You, you give it to these two, two birds. Uh, I, uh, are, they, are you just feeding it? Are they just eating out of your hand? or what's No, I'm trying like? to place it in the cage so they go back in their cages. Oh, gotcha. Okay, does, it have, does it have like a latch, like an opening, like Tweety Bird cage kind of thing? Uh, yeah, essentially, yeah. I mean, it's just to hold hold things before they're chopped up to eat. So, yeah, you could definitely. There's wide right, open doors. Let's place Here. it in the, in the cages. And if place they go in, in there, I want to close the door. Place it in my mage hand. I'll place it in there. Then you close the door. I can't see your mage hand, man. Yeah, you can. It's ethereal. I thought it was, like, invisible. Nope. I, no, yeah, oh, okay, I well, it's, like, trans, it's like translucent, but you can see it. Okay. Yeah. You're the invisible helper. The, yeah. There's yeah. another. Oh, the, yeah, the unseen servant. servant is the invisible one. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah unseen servant. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can see my hand. Okay. I put okay. it. I put it in the mage hand. Okay. Great. Uh. So great. You you got one in the mage hand, uh, one in the bush, and you throw the two, uh, the two pieces of meat in these two cages. Uh, and then two birds, one stone. You two know. birds, one yeah, one one. Well, I mean, two birds, one, one piece, piece of, of meat. meat. Yeah, yeah. They can both go in one cage. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Fair whoa. Enough. Hey. Whoa, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We gotta, we all gotta right, give right. them room. Come on. All right. All right. Sorry. <laughs> all right. I'm trying to live like the satyr over here. <laughs> yeah. I have wings. I should sympathize. All right. So yeah, you place this this these these this piece of meat or the, separately into these cages. Uh, and then no rule required. Yeah, they go in there. They're going to town on this meat, and you, you shut the doors and close the latch. Um, wow. Um, you mind uh, getting me out of here? He's um, totally naked. Why are you in there? Ah, uh, I I don't know, man. Yeah, that seems like a really suspicious answer. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, well, I didn't do anything yeah. wrong. You guys. Well, I mean, you're in a cage. Look, I was bathing, and those rabbit folks stole my clothes, and I was stuck naked in the wilderness. Uh, I chased after them, but then they trapped mm -hmm. me in a net and brought me here. I don't fucking know. I'm worried this guy's going to chop me up. He's been chopping meat all day. Hey, don't talk to that guy. I'm going to chop him up later. <laughs> Why are you going to chop him up? Because he looks delicious. Are you kidding me? You're not seeing what I'm seeing? What kind of cuts do you think you'll get out of him? I don't know. He doesn't look very delicious. He looks way too lean. Like, what kind of meat do you expect to get out of this? Right, that's what I'm saying. I mean, just, I don't, I mean, uh, what, I don't know. I just, whatever I can get, just gristle. I mean, piece chunk, are you saying, uh, look, I, I'm just doing my job. Freaking Bav Lorna needs to eat meat. I was just going to slice off what I got. I, I can give you a bunch of food that I got. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'll give you some rations and stuff, man, if you need something. I don't think cutting okay. up a being like this is going to ease anybody. All right. Well, I don't know if I got a choice, though. I, uh, I'm i just doing my job around here. Me too. Me too. You know, mm. I get it. I'm, I'm just wandering around aimlessly, so that's my job. <laughs> That, I guess that's cool. Um, I'm just trying to make ends meet, man. Um, look, I guess if you can 
give me replacement meat, I could swap him out or something. Yeah, we'll get you meat. You gonna give me some meat? Yeah. Does it has have to be a specific kind of meat or just like a meat replacement? Uh. You know, I, don't I got know some sofritas in the backpack. I don't know if Bev Lorna knows what was brought by the brigand, so yeah, it could be. It just could be any any kind of living being. She wants it fresh, though. Uh. Fresh as in still living. Damn it! I was about to go talk yeah. to the hatcher. Like, bring any meat, or just like newly dead. Newly you guys dead kill anything on the way here? Who? Oh, you're uh, talking about It's a good possibility. Um, you killed the mud methods, fight. but they explode. Oh, no, you didn't kill them. You just gave them mud pies. What were you going to say, yeah. Jason? Yeah. No, oh, I, yeah, I, I, I got nothing. I got yeah, nothing. I don't think we killed anything. Um, It's like we've trying to avoid that lately. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Hmm? Wait a minute. Talk talk to animals outside the window, Alex, and just like call all the pigeons. <laughs> hey, yeah, he's like, they're like, oh, we can talk to this guy, and he's like, come on, and he's like the Pied Piper of animals, just leading them away, just throwing like breadcrumbs out there, like, come on, animals, <laughs> right. talk to me. I got a whole loaf of Wonder Bread. Come here, <laughs> Wonder Bread. Please speak, Wonder Brioche. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like all right, Druid Craft. Um, let me see. I don't, I'm not fully convinced that's still a, a real word, but you guys said brioche is a thing of something that oh. doesn't. Bread's not a thing. But brioche so, sounds a little more complicated. So, so that might exist. It might. Maybe. So I think, all right, so we can get like regular meat and make it smell like skunks and then with uh, druid craft and then bribe these vultures with skunk meat to go get, like, you know, less skunky meat because it's not as good, whatever, you know. Hmm. Machilism. Hmm. So, um, how far off the ground are we? Are we just, like, in a window, kind of ground level so that we're able to climb in? To what, Erica? We'd have to go all the way back down. Aren't we, uh, like, up somewhere? Yeah, like, and I also will say, yeah, uh, like vultures story. are scavengers. Vultures don't hunt. Yeah, I know. Oh, so he, they wouldn't be able to bring back a live thing, I guess is what. You know, they, uh, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, to answer your question, this building is up on stilts, thirty feet. Then the first floor is ten feet, and you're on the second floor, so you're forty feet up off the ground. But there's water mm. everywhere. Mm. Didn't I check the first floor though, and I didn't find anything? In you checked any of the windows? one. Room. Two of the win two of the rooms. I checked the main room and one of the side rooms. Oh yeah, you saw in the side room a bunch of taxidermy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like weird creations, mixed up animals. Uh, yeah. And uh, like a big pool of water, which that was in the middle though. That was like the big room. Yeah, I forgot to Can unlock that view. Can I just tell this dude, be like, oh, well, you're actually in luck. I'm actually the main cook for tonight. They actually invited me in as a guest. So I'm actually going up to Pav Bavlorna, and I'm going to discuss what the meal's going to be. So once we figure that out, we'll come back down and we'll prep what we need to prep. Wait, what What did you say? You're here specifically to, to talk to her about cooking food? Yeah, like I'm a guest chef. I'm, I am the Iron Chef. So I'm here to cook a meal for Bavlorna, but I need to go up and see what she wants to eat. And we're his so, team. We help uh, him. We're like mm -hmm. his kitchen team. That's my sous chef. That's my pastry chef. That's my dish washer. Ooh. I point to Beck. I'm the bronze chef. Um, and then Gary, Gary's the, he's the host. The hostess with the mostess. So. Hell yeah. Uh, all right. Um. I don't know about that. <laughs> give me a per give me a persuasion with disadvantage. I apologize, uh, but for reasons. Wait. <laughs> well, that's it's still not. Oh bad yeah, at no all. no that's advantage that's advantage. So my disadvantage oh. would be a 13. 13. I I hit 13. alt not control. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Well then I guess he responds just like. 
why the fuck would Bev Lorna hire somebody else under my back? I'm the cook here. Uh, because can, you're can I not cook you a meal? A wonderful <sighs> host. Well, that's I'll cook you a meal right now. Bring this up to me before bringing in someone else to replace me. Has Bev it's Lorna ever really out. been super it's nice? That fucking it's a bitch. Team. Oh my fucking god! I never liked her. I'm about sorry, to say, I, has Bev Lorna ever treated you nicely? I'm sorry, I talked over what Be Be Bitana was saying. What were you saying, Erica? I said, you're only one person, we're a whole team. She needs efficiency. Sorry. Ooh. Ouch. This is fucking bullshit. This is, oh, I don't expect anything less from That's her, but fuck off. That's the in the cooking world, you should know that. Kitchen, out. Mm. Gordon Ramsay. We're gonna 86 your life. You're gonna what? I said we're gonna 86 your life. Dude, <laughs> no, what the fuck? God. So she needs a certain je ne sais quoi. Fine, fuck, for fucks. Fine, just t just do the whole thing. I'm getting out of here then. I don't give a shit. She gonna well, hire somebody doing? else? Fine. Wait, you don't want to? Hey, you don't want to help? I could use some help. I use some help. You know? In the kitchen? Yeah. 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 That, that just feels demeaning. I ugh. give me persuasion, just regular persuasion. Wait, let me uh, bardically inspire him. Okay, he did say that. He said it before the roll came out, so you're allowed to add a d6 if you want. <coughs> yeah, fuck it. Ooh. Okay, yeah. a thirteen. All right, all right. I'll stick around a little bit more. So, I think we're gonna need a clean kitchen area. Do you mind you mind cleaning up a little bit with all the blood and all guts? What am I gonna over use there? To you clean? know, this place is filthy, man. I don't, I don't know about that. <sighs> I don't want to be your lackey. I'd like to. All right, how about you... this? And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna summon some, um, what is unseen... it? Yeah, unseen servants to start cleaning. Mm, okay, that's dope. Yeah, just rags lift up off of the the counters, and you just start wiping. You see them wiping, just doing a bunch of work. You um, see? see, we are a magical cooking team, my dude. Look, you knew he could do that. If he does that all the time, why are you asking me to do this shit? Okay, look, I'm I'm getting riled up because Bev Lorna is hey. doing me dirty. Um, but that's Chill fine. Out, man. It's Have not you. Well, we'll answer for that. You just. You just worry about the blood. I, uh, I'll chill here for, but I don't want to be higher up than just. Uh, look, I, I'm not getting demoted from head chef to uh, a janitor around here. I pay. Do we have gold? Do we have money? Uh, if you took money when you started, you, oh, we might haven't have gotten any. a couple. No, I mean like Gary has eight gold. You might have. I don't know what I have. In inventory, it'll say you have you don't have any. Okay, you don't have any gold. <laughs> you have objects though. Ooh, I do have objects. You have things. <laughs> Daggers. <laughs> Mushroom. Can, Can I give him my my flavor my flavor flav jigsaw piece that I have as a pendant? Can I like give it to him and be like, look, now you're important, man. Your head of this entire district right here. Ah, uh, I'm the head. I'm I. So I get to make demands and calls and shit. Of anybody in this room, absolutely. And but not yet. The we gotta leave first. Dagger. What, Gary? I said I was gonna give him the official dagger too because I have two daggers in my inventory. I'm just gonna give him. One. Oh, that's all right. I got this sickle. He like he's got this big sickle on his side. Well, this is just ceremonial. You don't really use it. It's just, you know, like oh, one of those. It's just like come right yeah. yeah. Just put a hole in it and just hang it on your, but yeah. right by your jigsaw piece. Yeah, there you go. Another, there you go. Guys, you just have a sweet pendant of like awesome stuff. Right. Medallion. Look, I know you're just trying to make me feel better. Uh, it's not your fault that she is a piece of shit and just did this behind my back. Uh, I'll play ball, but. I, don't know. I mean, do you have something against Bavlorna? I mean, I don't know. She's never been the best. I'm just kind of her lackey. I mean, I mean, with a 
You know, do you I... get paid for what you do. Here, let's do a group exercise. Exactly. Let's all tell our 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 worst story about Bev Lorna. <laughs> so, you go first. Before Sam. before we do this, I, I want to ask. So, she if she's not paying you, are you just like a servant to her? Essentially, yeah. I mean, all right. So say you had a different boss. I, I was about, I was about to say I want to like turn and whisper to you guys. Do you think we can turn this dude against Bav Lorna? <laughs> I bet so. I bet so. All right, man. So we are an awesome chef team, all of us. Like we're we're great cooks. We're world renowned. But wow. if we were here to maybe usurp your leader, would you want to help? Uh. He, like a small smile grows on his face. Are you fucking with me? <laughs> well, when it comes to the, us being a world-renowned cooking team, no. We we are the best. Oh. But if you're talking about Bav Lorna, it's a high possibility that we're not messing around. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, I could probably get on board with that. What's the plan, guys? We're taking her out. I'd watch out for her lornlings, though. Her what, are those? what are those? She's got these tiny, tiny little versions of herself, like little bitty clones. Uh, yeah, whoever had a thing stolen from one of those tiny old ladies, that's what they're talking about. It's like a weird frog-like old woman the size of a frog. It's Wait, a like uh, Studio Ghibli uh, with uh, Spirit Away, old, old, old lady... <laughs> sure, yeah, if you want to imagine them like that. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Why not? For sure. You look kind of like a toad. Yeah, Yeah, for sure. So, the, yeah, they definitely look like that. I mean, technically, they look like... Do they take things from people? Or... They take my pen? Like, That's my main concern. Like point the right way. Like this oh, like, I see it. I mean, it's tiny. Yeah, but, yeah okay. Tiny Does that look like the motherfucker that took my pen? Um... I, let me see. I can double check. Gary, no. Your pen was taken by a weird shadow. But uh, Drug D, Fox, was taken by one of these old ladies. And uh, uh, Bitana's sister was taking, taken. But I think you did... Uh, was something said about that? No, I don't know. Maybe not. So yeah, that's what you guys remember. Okay. Why don't we, why don't we place in our food? Ooh, all right. Okay. Yeah, that's, that an, that's an idea. All right, look. I mean, she's expecting you to bring her some food, right? I've got I've got some insight that might help the plan. Shoot. All right. Oh, hang on. Do I not have a picture of this guy? I think yeah, if this ever. lady has gotten as far as she has, she's gotten some fucking defense of getting poisoned by meals. We also would have to have some form of poison. I don't know if anybody has anything. Well, so I have a uh, half German. Um, I can create a a bat or a rat. And <laughs> plus, have a butter. if she has a taste tester and it's one of those 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 old ladies, then we take. I mean, at least we kill one of those old ladies. So I mean, it's not. It's not. It's not. Is that a like a lady. goal of yours? I don't get. What? Do we I want to kill the old ladies? No, I think she's just I, I saying think, that like she might be able to uh, test the poison before it gets to her. Oh, uh, okay. That's the but, only bad side is she doesn't taste it herself first, but then one of her guards or somebody will, right? And then that leads her open. So it's we are a, talking like, about poison, but do we have poison, living? right? That's that's true. I don't know if we have any poison. I'm kind um, of, mm. I mean, I, I, mean, know I, have that some, I don't have any poison. I know that some nightshade grows over at Skabatha's <laughs> place where I gr where I grew up. But uh, I do have a CD of poison, but I don't think it's going to do the same thing. A what of poison? A CD. A c oh, okay, oh. I get it. Yeah. Uh, no, okay. Listen, look. Outside the poison, I don't know if this will change things, but she has an allergy. All right. She, if she sees anyone running Wittershins, she just can't stop sneezing. Running what? Wittershins. Wittershins. It's running Witter in circles what? counterclockwise. Oh. Oh, okay. That's like my daily exercise. 
I thought you were going to say if she was allergic to poison. <laughs> Wait, she, no. Also allergic to poison. That's crazy. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. Totally allergic. Just sneezes whenever she gets poisoned. Like, like I feel like I'm dying usually, but you know. <laughs> Wait, what is she allergic to? Running, running, where she Running she counterclockwise. If a creature in a within circle. ten feet of her uses at least ten feet of movement to run in place counterclockwise, she's of overcome by a fit of sneezing and can't cast any of her spells until the end of her next turn. Ooh, Mechanically that's... speaking. Uh, what, what, what are you? What are these turns? Yes. In I told you that. Could be cool. Turn. Uh, yeah, if we could put something on the floating disc and spin it. And make it go counterclockwise. Like, okay, I'll use my hat of vermin to create a rat that we'll put on the floating disc. I think it, like 10 pounds is the limit. Mm -hmm. So, a rat spinning counterclockwise. Okay. Does it have to be a humanoid, or can it be just like a creature it just going counterclockwise? A creature within 10 Okay. So, it could be um, like just but like, I, will I say, can make a frog or a rat. Well, any of the that. animals that you pull out of a hat of vermin don't like you and try to run away immediately. I just remember that. But <laughs> there are there are uh, like <laughs> can it be like an object? Can it it's gotta be No, it's gotta be a creature. It's uh, gotta be a creature. It's gotta be a fucking creature. But you guys look tough. Like... I mean maybe you can I don't, I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe that's okay, you, you saw have my the weapons of mass destruction. Your rat's tail and put it on the floating disc. Ooh. A floating disc. And then it'll only run around in circles. Wait, right? wait, wait. Um, we don't even know where she is yet. Um, but, well, hey, uh, cook in. dude, cook, what? cook guy, where is Bad Lorna usually at at this point? She's oh, yeah. out in her, uh, uh, what's it called? In her study. She's, she's in a meeting right now. Also, I don't mean to call you cook guy all the time. What's your name? Oh, Bloody Toes. Bloody Toes. That's, that's a way better name. Yeah, yeah that's that was, saying. cook guy was, uh, was the way, uh, was, wasn't better. What, Bitana? Yeah. How'd you get that name? Uh, uh, Hold on, let me pull up the character sheet. No, I don't think there's a story about why. <laughs> Wait, are your that. toes even bloody or are they pristine? I'm going to look down. I want to examine his toes. Uh, well, his toes are out. Actually, he's wearing these thick metal boots. You better take off those boots so I can see. No, man, toes. those are some nice boots. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah. I can really kick with them. And I bet, it, I bet his toes are fucking, fucking comfy as shit under there. Oh, they are. Bloody. They don't get smashed. There's like steel the toe boots. Iron toe boots. So wait, are you referring to your toes that are bloody, or are you referring to... <laughs> There's so many questions. That's yeah, half the mystery, uh, you know? I don't get it. All right, guys, I, I appreciate your interest in my history and everything. <laughs> um, look, uh, it's, embarrass it's embarrassing, but it's my favorite food. Uh, so it's what it's how I leave other people That's that gave me the nickname. Mm. It's what I oh, eat. Okay. It's just I'm named after what I eat. You are what you eat. You get it? You eat bloody toes? Yes. Uh, Let me see your okay. toes. They might look delicious. Oh, look at those tiny little. Oh my god, that's like a. Yeah. It's like a baby carrot. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, hey, hey. We're well, well, on the same cooking team. the ground, so you know, it's never bloody. No All right. All right, guys. Poisoning. Are you, we doing the poison? Are we? we, we the, I just don't. We think don't have, have poison. Poison. Yeah. Poison. Yeah. yeah. So what happens if Bethana, instead, it's her that is going around counterclockwise? Oh, that, well, that would work. If a creature near her does, you know, so it's, spin, we got to figure out a way to spin her, I think. No, you just got to run uh, in a circle I mean, counterclockwise in space. Okay, why don't I just run in the room and start running counterclockwise and then... Well, she's at a meeting right now. Oh, well, what, so? Run in there. Yeah, I mean, you could still run in there. But yeah, I, I mean, essentially, the allergy the is a creature uses movement to run 10 feet counterclockwise. Um, so, like, I like the spinning idea, but technically they have to be moving on their own. Um, is a mage hand a creature? No. 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 I know. I was also thinking about Unseen Servant, but they're not a creature either. But what I was saying was uh, this flying disc, if we tied it to a rat's tail 
and the rat was running on the ground just attached to the I was saying if we could find some animals I could talk to animals and have we, them. We don't have well, Sir, Sir what it, Sir Talibur with us anymore, right? No. No. Enough. You freed him. Well, I will say I did just help some vultures and Alex has speak to animals so we might be able to talk to the vultures. Oh yeah. Well, I'm well, so. still able to talk to them. So yeah. Something a squirrel from a tree since we're kind of high up. Is there any trees out on the balcony? Uh, no. Well, uh, no trees. Let me see what the. Because you're you're out in the middle of the. the How long? We do have these chickens too. We can. Like I'm just asking, like. We're, you, we're guys, you guys are creatures too, just to specify. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh, okay. But yeah, okay. I mean, if and you I can get, get an animal to do it, and then you guys are free to do other stuff, that's even better. So. <laughs> Uh, so I guess while you guys are talking, just because this door opened up, I gotta describe what's happening in this room. Well, I was gonna ask, uh, Bloody Toes what's behind this door, but I was trying to, like, hold on it, and it just opened. Yeah. Yeah, just don't click it unless you plan to- I know it's- it's not- it's sometimes you accidentally click stuff. Uh, and there's no- I mean, fortunately in this case, there's nothing in there that's gonna hurt you. Uh, just- it's a pantry. It's got a bunch of jars of pickled stuff bunch of pig snouts and toads and small birds and onions and mushrooms are all back there. Mm. Uh, and inside one of the jars is a little mushroom with a with a big old smiling face. What? I want to check out that mushroom. Yeah, what's that mushroom? Uh, it's just Where'd inside of a jar. It's sealed up in a jar. It's smiling at you. Is it like moving? <laughs> yeah, it's moving around. It's got eyes. It it's looks like, like I think I have a picture. It looks like this guy. Whoa! Ah! Only his friend. I don't think I see anything. It's in my camera. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's a happy mushroom guy. Oh, oh nice. Yes. Yeah, totally. Totally opening that. Eat it. Maybe uh, he'd run around. I'm not eating him. He's okay. my little, uh, he's like my parrot buddy. It's you like I got a mushroom parrot. You open up the, the jar and he just immediately. Uh, immediately start singing a, a song. Uh, what fucking song? Um, hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my <laughs> old. Yeah, but only when you're looking at him. Uh, yeah, exactly. He sings, sings, hello, my baby. It doesn't have legs to be kicking or a top hat or a cane or anything. But yeah, start singing, hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. <laughs> Can I? Wait, wait, wait. Can I use a uh, uh, prestigitation to give him like a couple little legs? <laughs> oh, with a top hat that yeah. he can take off. Uh, like, off and it would be the equivalent of like folding up a paper clip and sticking it there. Like they're not active legs, but right? Sure. Yeah, I yeah, know. Like little fake ones. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow! I've never had the legs. I'm a real boy. Oh, yeah. I can't. I'm paralyzed, guys. I'm hey, paralyzed. Hey, this is uh, we're, working. we're working on it. Oh my god! I can't move. I know. I... <laughs> I mean, could you move before? Oh god. Why'd you let that thing out? No, I'm stuck in the ground! Oh yeah, we can bounce around! Well, and he just starts jumping. He like bends over and then launches himself up. The legs don't move, but he just... <clears throat> like, like you're in a chair and you're trying to move. <laughs> Son of a bitch! God damn! Why are you why are you talking to the in ingredients? What he's he's okay. a good dude. What's your name, little mushroom man? Oh, it's uh uh Toad. It's uh John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. My name's John Wilkes Booth, but you can call me J W B. I'll call you, uh... J-Dub. Mushy. <laughs> J-Dub's <-Dub's> Mushy. <laughs> Alright! J-Dub Mushy. Thanks for yeah. letting me out of there! Yeah. So, uh... How, how'd you get in there? He put- that guy put me in here! Hey, shut up! Man. You can't just put, like, everything, you know. At least make sure it doesn't talk before you put it in there. What do you mean? We, I eat things that talk. Why is that a rule? I mean, like... 
I'm just wrong. Yeah, I mean, it should at least. Mm. Not. Mushroom guy, do you want John like, Wilkes Booth? Do you want to be none eaten? Of that, none of that stuff on your table's talking. It's dead. Eaten? No, no. You don't want to be eaten, do you? Is that why I'm in here? You I thought this was, was a, a, a cool apartment. I mean, it is a really cool apartment for like a it's mushroom. A fat ass studio, other kinds of spices eat. and stuff. You get to hang out with all your like. Article bros. Hang on. I gotta switch this guy around. Oh, that's way too small. Come back. Boop, little mushroom guy. Okay, great. He's on your shoulder. Okay, I'm sorry. What did you say to him? Uh, I was just telling him he's gonna get eaten. He was. Shit. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, well, good <laughs> thing you guys came along. I'm free! I'm paralyzed, but I'm free. It's a funny I'm able to walk anyway, man. What? I don't think you were ever able to walk anyway. Hey. Oh, shit. You don't crush his dreams. No, you're right. You're right. Uh -huh. Well, it was my dream to be paralyzed. I, c I couldn't be paralyzed until I had legs. Sorry, okay, this doesn't make sense. Guys, thank you so much. <laughs> Let me hang out on your shoulder. Uh, and I'll just be here. here. I'll just be here. Hell yeah. Your shoulder is just it. like a, a balcony um, at a theater, theater. Okay, bye. Uh, you guys, what are you guys doing? Um, so what's the so point? We don't have any food. a door open. What? No, um, and a door opened. Yeah, well, I this, opened the door, door to this pantry was clicked by us. Oh, I got you. I thought you were saying a door opened up when we... Oh, you, somebody opened the door and you said a door yeah, opened. I mean, I by accident. What's, but, up, yeah. what's up with this door over here? Oh, that's what uh, you were trying to do is Mr. ping it. I see. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Uh, Bloody Toes. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, that's the meat locker. Oh, the meat locker. Is it full of meat? Hell yes. A well, why don't you just cook up some of that meat? I mean, I will. I, we're gonna cook that meat, but look, this was a Did gift you, from you, the brigands, some, and it's all. Did you say there was some nightshade somewhere? Didn't you say there was some nightshade somewhere? Yeah, but that's back from where I come from. That's over in Thither. I don't know how to get there. The, after the mist went up, everybody was kind of stuck. Hmm. All right. Well, what's this? This one. What? Uh. He's. Huh. What the fuck is that door? This almost doesn't even make sense right now. <laughs> oh, oh, it does because you're on the second floor. Okay, what about it? You're, are you opening it or what are you doing? Are you like no, listening to it? No, asking bloody toes. Oh, you're asking What's bloody behind? toes. So I could. Whoops, I did that. That's my bad. Uh, that just the stairs downstairs, but uh, uh watch out. There's okay. a bee. There's bees out there. Oh, He's out where? I'm allergic. Right through the door. There's a whole hive right out there. We don't go that way. We go down the spiral staircase mostly. Is that where uh, this is over here? Yeah, up there. That's Babylon's study. Oh. That's where she's in a meeting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's talking to Charm from that shop. <laughs> All right. Well, Babylon is in there, guys. If you didn't just hear, but we should no. probably talk. <laughs> um. So we don't really. I fly down and look for some, like look around for some animals, like some, I don't know, mice, uh, chip vultures, monks, birds. Vultures. I mean, the vultures. I don't think they're going to be big enough to or small enough to get in there. You think? So I wait, mean, you... they can. What do you want to do with the mice that you're looking for? Or just I mean, the animals? It's just, we just uh, run around yeah, in a circle. have them go yeah. counterclockwise for 10 minutes. Yeah. In a no, circle. Which, a mice, not 10 is minutes. A, a mice is a good one. That's a good one. A mice is a good one. That's a good one. Well, I mean, Drug D was talking about how he can produce mice, and although it won't yeah. be nice to him immediately, yeah. you can maybe talk to it. Yeah. Right. So yeah, we could do that. 
I mean, you could go That's out and try cool. to look for something, but like this is out in the middle of a pond, in the middle of a mist. Uh, so you have to go outside of Downfall to look for something like that, maybe. I think that's a good idea. Ooh, middle of a pond. I could do frogs. Yeah, but they're just gonna hop. They're not really gonna... Well, here, let me... I get three chances, so let me just try and pull okay. out something. Yeah, go ahead and do that. So yeah. I'll pull up my hat, and I'll grab a... I guess we'll see, uh... I think a rat would be the easiest to work with. Yeah. Rat or a toad? Which one? Toad's just hot. No, though. rat. At rat, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay, so I pull out a rat. And okay. I hold him. And I try and get... All right, Gary, talk to him. Talk some sense okay. to this rat. Smack him around a little bit. <laughs> little rat. All right, I'm going to roll on deal. it so it takes one of the charges. Oh, I just did. What? No, I meant for the hat. Uh, okay, oh, okay. So, okay, so he pulls out this rat. He pulls. Are you wearing this hat all the time, or? Um, Drug me? You, What's that? Are, do you wear? Are you, are you wearing this hat? So you pull it off and you just like a, ma a magician pull a rat out of your hat? Yeah, sure. I, I mean, I just happen to be wearing a hat, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. What? What kind of huh. hat? What does the hat yeah. look like? I know I'm getting into stupid details, but what does your hat look like? Oh yeah. Um. It. How about it looks like this one? It's just got some triangles on it. Okay. Yeah. Just tell I just you. Found it. I found it in a cave somewhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And when you reach in, your arm goes way further down than should make sense. And then you pull out a rat. <laughs> uh, great. You've okay. been wearing this hat the whole time? That's sure, crazy. Yeah. Or intermittently. Like... That's a dope ass hat, man. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so then Gary goes to, you're holding this rat, and it's squirming, it's trying to get away from you, but you're holding on to it, uh, and Gary goes to talk to it. What What do you say to it, Gary? Like, hey, you look, dead? listen, what buddy. Is um, oh, dude. you're poisoned. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, I was, I'm drunk. I was right. drunk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, be like, hey, listen, dude, for all the grains, cheese, and meat your family can eat if you uh just run in some circles in front of a lady that's all you gotta do for me dude hey dude, hey tell him i got this dope ass brioche and we got some brioche it's just <laughs> a form of uh not bread what, uh, yeah what, what uh what do you what do you think you're up to what is this what is going on here what are you what are you saying to me i uh i don't normally I'm talk saying. to your type uh yeah, yeah, I know. You're gonna, you I want know. me to run in circles in front of some lady? Yeah, that's it. And you're gonna give me a bunch of food? Yeah. Let me see the food. Can All I right, eat that guys. guy up on your shoulder? He's my bro, dude. That's your brother? I turned a bit Hana and drugged yeah, him. Mom? This conversation seems intense. Yeah. <laughs> see, like, my wings are kind of got, you know, yeah, same thing. Wow, you guys grew up totally different. You guys look not related, but that's fine. I, okay, uh, look, I'm uh, I haven't talked to people in a while. I've just been in that hat. I don't even know. Uh, so sorry if I got off base. Okay, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, give me a persuasion. Okay, that's a lot of squeaks, guys. I have no idea what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, Gary's just squeaking. Squeak, 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 squeak. Squeak. <laughs> I, I oh, wait, how do I keep that at right now, disadvantage? How do I do it regular? Uh, a for alt. Alt A for advantage. I think you're doing shift or control or something. I'm not doing anything. Control. I'm just like, I go to my character sheet. Oh, and press, uh, oh it's because... Well, okay. When you're drunk, I apply the poison condition. And the poison condition is giving you disadvantage on your skill checks. Uh, uh, okay. But look, 15 still fine. That's I still accept it. Uh, and you know what? You've been hanging out long enough. I'll I'll take your poison off. I was going to say, I've been rolling with disadvantage for a minute. I'm yeah. doing all right. All right. All right, I'm in. Okay, I guess I'm in. Uh, so, well, where's this at? Can we do this right now? Where's the, where's the food? You say you got... What do you got? We'll, Cheese and nuts? We'll give you... We'll give you some now. And some then, what? Uh, some food. We'll give to you the rat? And yeah, and just give him, like, a couple nuts and, like, some cheese. And then we'll give him the rest <sighs> later. All right. Um, yeah, all right. Some... I will. All right, fine. Yeah, I'll give him some You got to motivate him. Come on. All right. All right, great. 
Yeah, he grabs it. He just sits there up on his back legs, holding the piece of cheese, just going in. Okay, yeah, this is good. This is going to be worth it. I don't care how dizzy I get. This is great. All right, see? See? All right, so. Okay, now, well, this plan's um, really coming together. Okay, so we got the Wittish, Wittishins down. What's next? Are we right, swinging? So, are we... What are we... Are we killing her? Is that what we're doing? Well, first of all, you're going to go in there with the prefer, prepared food on the tray like you normally do. Okay. And then behind her, the rat's going to come in, start running around in a circle, and then we're all going to... Or counterclockwise circle, and then we're all going to run in after that. You and pretend just, you pretend that? like you don't know what's going on. You're like, oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. You're like, oh my god, rat from the kitchen. That sounds good. Okay. Uh, I don't know, unless you guys have a better plan. That sounds like a good plan. There you go. So wait, that isn't it is are we murdering her? I'm not I saying mean, I have a problem no. with that. I just wanna know. We What's want to know where our stuff's at first. I was about to say, I think we just want our stuff back. So yeah. if we can disable her with the sh shenanigans, whatever it's called, the counterclockwise motion. Mm, yeah. Well, I don't then know if she can maybe talk we if can she's just sneezing. Well, then we can just make her continuously sneeze and make her life crazy, and then drive information well, I mean, out of her. As long, as long as the rat does it for like the first whatever, then at least one of us can keep it going, even if the rat loses interest. Mm-hmm. And if she's incapacitated, then, you know, we can keep incapacitating her and figure some shit out. No, no, no. How about this? Okay, so the rat goes in, does it on the floor, like, out, out of the reach of the lady or, like, you know, somewhere else. And then, like, after she's incapacitated, I want to fly in and up towards the ceiling. I'll do it. So just to specify, because you're using a word that's official mechanic, she's not incapacitated. She's overcome by right. a fit of sneezing and can't cast spells until the end of her next turn. I okay. gotcha. She also pukes she a lot if she's spell. eating anything. Okay. But yeah, I mean, that's enough, so I is, think, is for you to just go call, in and Is she on a video call or meeting, or is she meeting with someone in person? No, they're, they're here. I don't know what, the, what you, that first part what even means, but she no, there's somebody here. They flew in special to meet her. They're physically Do you think talking. That, so is there a point that Lorna is vulnerable? Like, is there a point where she goes to sleep and she's she has quarters or something? Like, or she's alone? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm guessing when she's sneezing. Yeah, that's probably a good question to ask. Let me find the answer for you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Because if she's got a bunch of people with her, we can maybe try to get her when she's by herself and run this stupid motion, and then... Yeah, because if we go at her right now, she's meeting with people, so we have to fight yeah, additional fight people when we're down help two minutes. Yeah. And we got, like, the best kitchen help guy ever, you know, but we might need a little more backup. Thanks. Sorry, bloody toes. I mean, I appreciate the compliment. You haven't really seen me in action, but uh, I appreciate it. You're just being nice. I mean, you are named Bloody Toes, so... <laughs> well, You've probably you kicked have, an ass or... I mean, name speaks for itself. I mean, really. The, I mean, it, so... it It does... Look, I'm I'm just... I'm arguing over <laughs> nothing. Uh, I do appreciate the compliment. but My name doesn't really suggest how good I am at cooking, uh, but uh, if it's, it's fine if you want to assume I'm great. I, I am great. But I guess not good enough to be the only chef here. Ah, you know, I mean, I'm just, I'm really good. We'll have a cook-off. We'll, we'll see who's better. There we go. It's not about you. It's about her. Her disrespect. I feel you. I just, I feel like you're a really good cook. I saw all those great ingredients in, in the clean kitchen, you know? I, I get it. I get it, man. I feel like you're definitely worthy. Um, yeah. Oh, thanks. Okay, all right. I'll take the compliment. I'll shut up about it. Okay. So, your question was, does she go anywhere? Uh, I mean, she's normally hanging out in her study. I guess, yeah, at night she goes to sleep uh, up upstairs in her room. Is that a pretty regular schedule? I guess so, yeah. 
I mean, every, what time? Every night, maybe. I guess she, what she goes to bed at nine, and then wakes up during the witching hour, because you know that's her hour. Hmm. What is the witching hour? You know, three three o'clock, three a.m. <laughs> her hour. And that's that's definitely. Oh, how how do I forget? Yeah. Witch time. Oh, it's witch geez. time. Duh. Yeah. You I'm sorry. I, I, I forgot my witch witch watch. Mm. Yeah. It's it's hard to forget. You know. It's witch hard dirty. to forget. Yeah, that's why I forgot it because I'm terrible. Because it's. I'm sorry. Well, if it's hard to forget, then you should remember. Um, guys, uh, we're a good team. You know what? I, <laughs> let's uh, it uh, uh, is uh, you guys want something to eat? Uh. I'm just gonna step in the closet real quick. Okay. All right. All right. Do you? It, it sounded like you wanted to be alone, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cl- close the door <laughs> after Gary goes in. Well, he's just like, oh. you know, he's just he's, he's talking over, nonsense. Right? He was trying to get out of continuing to speak to you, so he just like said he wanted to go in the pantry. He starts eating ingredients yeah. off the shelf. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's got a jar. He pulls it open. He's just. He's like, oh, sorry, I'm talking about muscle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, is, that any, is that any good? No, 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 I mean, you can try to call him that, but his name's John Wilkes Booth. No. Dubs. Cap- Cappy J. Dubs. Yeah, Ca- J. Dubs. Cappy J. Dubs. You need, you need to say the whole thing. I forgot about uh, J. Bub- J. Dubs. Yeah. Yeah. That was I my mean, fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, did sorry, I overhear Dubs. correctly? Are we murdering somebody? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I bet you isn't that, about isn't that kind of your back? Dude, I don't want to get eaten, but if you shove me down someone's throat, I could choke a motherfucker. Uh, uh, psh, shit. Oh. Or if oh, you what? get me behind <laughs> you, <laughs> ass motherfucker. on a balcony. B-dubs. B-dubs. J-Dubs Cappy, all right. I'm I'm call, him Cappy. call him Cappy because he's ready to cap some. I'll cap him, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll cap him. I'm like a bullet. I'm just like a little bullet. <laughs> bullet, all right. Can you, uh, how long can you hold your breath in soup? Uh, uh, I don't know. I've never tried it. All right, we're going to get some training courses set up. All right, bloody toes. Damn. We need some soup. Set yeah, this one up. I'm with food, so. Oh, yeah, that's true. Do you secrete anything, J-Dubs? What, am I a boggle? Oh, <laughs> am I a boggle or something? No, I don't secrete. I mean, mushrooms do secrete. Okay, you know what? I, I totally forgot. Uh, I do shoot out spores sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> they pollinate. They don't secrete. Yeah, I, I don't call. I don't use the word secrete. I just call it uh, spurting. Uh, what is it? I forget what it is. They call hey. me Tim Spurton. <laughs> <laughs> Spurting spores, baby. <laughs> I'm sure that's a different industry. <laughs> Incubate. I think that's it, right? What? Incubate? Isn't that what you do with for, for spores? I can't remember. No, not incubate. It would Cult, be like... Cult? Not the word. Cultivate? Yeah, maybe cultivate. Well, what are you, what are you wanting to mean? Like, cultivate, you'd be, you would be creating... You'd be, like, grabbing the spores from yeah, the mushroom. Developing. I guess because mushrooms aren't conscious, there's probably not a word from that direction. They're not conscious that we know yet. Yeah. Right. And yeah, I guess that's true. They're probably trying to. Not our us. mushrooms. Well, I'm old. It's it's pretty crazy. Spores. I guess secrete could work. Whatever. Okay. We're, what's happening? <laughs> we could get into a big conversation about. <laughs> Do you secrete, or what is that even called? I don't know. I thought maybe if we made some tea and, you know, you bathed in the tea. I mean, we could call it distro if you want. Happy day, J-Dubs, what do you call it? I'm, I just Mushroom. call it spurting. 
Spartan. Okay. That's what we got. Tim Spurton. Tim Spurton. Spurton. Tim Spurton. That's my freaking nickname. That was my nickname in college, at least. No, that's uh, that's the name of your uh, your new rap single. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. It's I mean, it's my rap Happy, name. Cappy J Dubs. No, and then your <laughs> single is Tim Spurton. Tim Spurton. Okay. All right. If you think. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Come on, if I'm gonna be your manager, we gotta do this right. Oh, you're gonna be my manager? Okay, shoot. I mean, I don't, I know nothing about the music business. I pulled you out of that jar. I'll lift you up. Oh, thanks, man. You're gonna be my hype guy, my hype fairy. Yep, yep. That's it. Dude, can I imagine a rapper looking all like <laughs> trying to be all serious, and there's a fairy flying around, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Spur. Talking about. Spurt. Dude, right. spurt. <laughs> okay. That's not weird, okay. So now it's it's clear. Um, I can spurt and I can headbutt. Those are my really cool things. <laughs> so. Oh, and I can sing any song you teach me. Down. It's going to get kind of dark, but shove it down her throat and have them spurt you, can, you, can you spurt in her throat? <laughs> I could. I definitely could. I. Um. Yeah, I guess do, I could. Do you feel bad about? Do you feel bad about? How do you feel about murdering? Murdering? Yeah, are you good with that? Um, no, I'm. I've been thirsty for blood for years. <laughs> oh, cool. great, wonderful. Cappy that's, Jada. that's just what we wanted to hear. Dude, All right. I love taking out uh, <laughs> leaders of leaders. <laughs> <laughs> he is John. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love uh, he's, he's cool with this. Who popped this mushroom? This is awesome. <laughs> this is like the perfect mushroom. Oh, Good job. Thanks. You know, it's I the just... perfect mushroom. A mushroom named John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> <laughs> who's thirsty for blood. Murdering elected officials. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry. I just, I just put us all on a list. No, it's <laughs> yeah, it's it's fine. Okay, great. All right, well, <laughs> so what's uh, who, where uh, what are we doing? Uh, should we wait for Bavlorna to be solo? Like, should we wait until a later yeah, night? Be alone. Okay. And then we and do then while she's and watch sneezing, we'll find a time to run in and shove our okay. mushroom friend. Seeing a rest and eating and, and, you know, then waiting around in this little area until the witching hour when she's like 3, yeah. 3 a.m. like in the morning. Cat. Sorry. Okay. You're going to come back when, like, wh while she's waking up? Or while yeah. she's sleeping? Or what were, I just oh, missed her. What were you guys saying? Going to... Well, isn't okay. she going to bed soon? Isn't it like... It's, she it's usually goes to bed around right 9. Now. Yeah, right. she's yeah. like 12 yeah. hours from now. Yeah. She usually goes to bed. So, so let's like overestimate. Let's say she goes to bed at like 10.30. Then we can try to do that. And then the witching hour is at 3. So we still have plenty of time to... Right. Intermingle. Sleep. But we still have to find somewhere to stash away for 12 hours. Mm. That's true. Or. I mean, what's going on, Bloody Toes? Oh, is he still in here? No. He, he's he's having a existential crisis a in the pantry he's over yeah, there. So nah, he's, 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 we're he's, talking, just, we're he's leaning cool. against the door, just filling his mouth with whatever's in this pantry. What was it? Small birds. <laughs> he's, he's got, a, he's got a jar with small birds that he's shoving in his mouth. <laughs> mm, awesome. <laughs> what were you saying, Erica? I, I'm sure he'd be okay if we just hung out in the kitchen. Just I'm going to be like, look, Red to uh, Bloody Toes, there's been a coup, yeah. and now uh, uh, hey. shit's gone weird. weird. If anybody asks, you're going to have to say that we're your employees. What, I'm promoting what you. you, you why, who would ask? I thought she invited you here to take over and cook for her. <clears throat> Okay, look. Yeah, all she did, it. but, uh, you know, not all at, at the same time. I'm not following. 
But my it's just part open. of the plan. It's just part of the plan. Hmm. You just gotta say we're part of your team. Right? Are you, are you part of this team? I'm. I'm a part of the team. I just like to right. understand what what's happening. Uh, uh, like what's what's happening is now we're all your employees. What do you need us to do? Huh? Shoot, I freak I don't freaking know. I mean I just I mean we're gonna cook up we're gonna cook up some food. Let's do it. It's a meat out the meat locker. Alright, uh, and then there's a, a meat cooking montage. <laughs> he goes, Okay, you do a, you have a whole meat cooking montage. He goes into the meat locker, comes out with a bunch of frozen. We get into like a meat fight meat. at one point and we're meat like, Oh like fight. who, me, you yeah. <laughs> okay. What is this? Do you have long strider on you or something? Oh yeah, that's <laughs> Oh you <laughs> Stop it. So oh, sidebar. Mm. I think we should just tell him that it's a ploy. That we just came in here acting like a cooking team. Like, what's the worst that's gonna happen? He turns on us and there's six of us. Technically, two people are missing. Yeah, he doesn't really have a whole lot else to do but just go with the plan. So and he seemed like I mean, he really wanted to go with the plan and kind of getting happy. rid of that Lorna. He seems happy yeah. this way. Like, I don't want to kill her, but, you know, if we get the information and get our shit, then we're good. I want to give him that little deniability to make him feel, you know... Like I think he just wants to be part guy. of the team. We need to bring him on the team. He is part of the team. We're his team now. I I thought he already knew we were here to do bad stuff. So yeah, but we I mean, posed as an all-star cooking team, which we're not. We're, I mean, we are. <laughs> we're laughing I mean, about. You have the potential I mean, to definitely like, be that. Not an all like, like, no, we're, we're we, obviously not a. We person. might be. Season winners of Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Guys. Guys, that was that was an awesome three hours of cooking meat together. We really bonded. Uh, you showed me some things. Uh, I showed you some things. Uh, you really hit me with that meat and that meat fight. Oh my god, it was like a pillow fight. That was that was, that was like the craziest part, man. Like that drumstick did some damage. I can yeah. I can see it. It's like a club. Right yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> you know, crazy. Yeah, so dude. we got. To, I got to tell you, bloody toes. It's all a ploy. Like, we are the best cooking team you've probably ever laid eyes, eyes on. Right. But we're here to mostly get things that people took back from us. Uh, actually, Bavlorna specifically. So, she took we're actually here to you? take her out. Yeah. So, mm. I wish my friend... Back! Back, come in here! Remove your arm! Uh, sure. He, I mean, Back. he's puking. You just hear puking. You hear puking still. But usually that's how we prove that someone someone has stole something from us. Is Beck's just like, see, my arm, gone, see, here it is. my arm's gone. He stole his, own, his yep. whole arm. Oh, my God. And then I'm like, my pen, too. I don't <laughs> brioche. It's so funny. I don't know what that is. For him to be like, she stole my whole arm. And then Gary's like, yeah, and my pencil. My pen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, I do it every, I do it every time. Though. She sucks. Well, my memory, my memory of brioche, God, which is right. not bread. How would you? What do you mean it's not bread? That is a type of bread. It's I, that's not a thing. I'm telling you. Like everybody keeps telling me this, and that's that's that doesn't that doesn't exist. Brioche, this thing that I have right here, real squishy, seems squishy. like it's sophisticated. Brioche sounds like this is what this is, but bread, that's not that's not real. That's not a thing. Yeah, like okay, so you you've heard of like yeast, right? That's nope. That's that sounds like a, a monster or maybe somebody's name. Oh, yeah! I've met a guy named Yeast before. <laughs> yeast, yeast Williamson. It was, yeah, it was Clint <laughs> Yeastwood. Ye, ye, yeast sweat. Yeah, I know him. Yeah. God. I know. I know Yeast Williamson. Guys, what? What is going on? This guy. Why is he not? What do you mean? He doesn't know bread. That's a no. band, maybe. I don't know. That that nah. That, that, that's not a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that band, right? Is he just not learned and common all the way, or <laughs> it's you ever heard of those people that think that like the astral plane is flat? Oh, uh... <laughs> it's like that. Well, yeah. <laughs> I can put evidence in the red in front of his face. He doesn't care. 
What the heck? I mean, I could understand if he was just like, what is that? But he's like vehemently, I think that's the word. Jeez. Vehemently. Vehemently. That, vehemently. that. He's just vehemently. very confident and it's non-existent. Yeah, we're pretty sure that's what Bad Lauren took from him. That's his memory of Brad. Now he just sends us little pictures with with words on them and <laughs> really <laughs> about how Brad doesn't exist. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's invented memes. He draws you little illustrations just with words on them. In a whole own personal blog and he just website. puts them in our stuff and, and what we get annoyed. A, a personal bog. A personal, personal bog. Like there's a bog where you you put them all up and people can come. Love it. And walk around through the bog and see all your paintings. <laughs> like what? This guy said bread isn't real. All right, bet I'm gonna read. Yeah, have, you, real, have you been released, to the anti bread bog? <laughs> it's an anti bread bog. Yeah. <laughs> it releases like giant noxious clouds that like serve as like smoke signals. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's somehow smoke bread. Okay, well, I'll, I'll well, they count this as the, another two hours of news. conversation about this. Okay, so it's, <laughs> it's become 2 p.m., 2.15 2 p.m. Why is the time not going? Conversation so about there? something that doesn't exist. I'm going another hour <laughs> forward. All right. So it's 3.15. How are you guys filling your time before you go try to sneak in while she's Scree. Sleeping? Scree, 15. I'm going to go I'm help. Gonna... Have some leftover meat. Do we have some Ooh. leftover meat? Did we perform a short sure. rest or anything? No, you can't. You if you want. I was gonna say, I mean, was if you're trying to kill that. time, you might be able to long rest. Although, not that you it's just it. like really, I mean, unless you're a sorcerer, it really just helps with HP. Most mm -hmm. spellcast shit after a long rest, right? Uh, no, uh, for but some people have like bard, small features, guards, it's pretty stuff. good, yeah. I, I actually do. I'm a fighter, so I should probably take this short rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. All right, everybody take a shorty rest. I'll do another hour. So it's it's about 4.15. Can I go show Bloody Toe some cooking techniques? Uh, Yeah, look, hang on. I'd love to learn. Let me take this batch into her before before she's heading up to, to bed a little bit later, just so she thinks everything's fine. I mean, I hate for her to come looking for... The food that I'm supposed to be cooking. I, I get it, man. We don't want to be caught. All right. Uh, and then he, yeah, he's, he leaves the room for a little bit. He goes back up here with a tray of meat, drops it off, returns a couple minutes later. If you want time without him, feel free to conversate. Ooh. I'm when he. I was about to say, can I perform? Well, he already left, but can I perform an insight check to see if he was being honest when he said he had to, like, serve her mm, sure. as he wasn't going to sell us out or something. Sure. That's a good idea. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's totally on your side. He was, he's okay, just okay. trying to keep up appearances. He seems legit. Cool. Cool. Uh, and cool. And then he returns from there. Alright. Show me your skills, my boy. Oh man, uh, can I extend my fist forward for Knuckles? Let's see if yeah. he if he gives yeah, me nuts. Yeah. Who's taller? Are you? Are we about the same height? He starts like I'm. I'm four foot. I, I am super short. Oh yeah, me too. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a small. I'm a small creature. I'm also small, man. Dude, whoa, we're like bros. We're bros. Him and the mushroom are bros. This is awesome. You know, I'm kind of like a mushroom myself. <laughs> Yeah. How do you figure? Well, I grow out of the ground. <laughs> Good one. Hey, no, I'm Good not one. even kidding. No, I'm called. It's called a red cap. Uh, whenever Skabatha gets angry, I just bloop, I pop up out of the ground. Wait, whenever who gets angry? Skabatha. Who's Skabatha? She's a hag from thither. I escaped there though. Well, you seem like you're in much better condition, so I'm happy you es escaped. Yeah, I mean, I look. I I guess I escaped from one uh, life of servitude to another. But uh, oh. I, you know, if I was over we're there, I may not have met you guys. We're, we're I'm about to say we're we're definitely equal. Everybody here, same skills. You know, yes. you bring something to the table, we bring something to the table. Mostly stuff we cook. 
Yeah. That's Ooh. a good you bring it to the table. Yeah, that you cook something, you bring it to the table. And you put it on the pizza. Pizza? I I I don't know what that is. You never heard you never heard that classic tune? I, I wandered by these mushrooms one time singing this put it on the pizza song. Hmm. <laughs> You'll you have to play it for me one day. Play it? Yeah. How? What do you mean? Like a game? Like, I thought you said play it on the pizza song. Oh, no. I had people oh. sing it. Oh, okay. Or they were singing. I didn't have... Okay. Uh, well, it's, it's a good song. If you hear it, uh, you, <laughs> you're blessed. But uh, otherwise, I don't know. You remember blessed. it? Can okay. you sing it? Yeah. Do you remember it? Can you sing it? It's, uh, Does it, it's that one that's like, put it on the pizza. No, it's the right? Mary-Kate and Ashley song from one of their oh. shows. Oh, no. <laughs> but the one I watch is all slowed down, so they're like, put it on the oh, pizza. P-I-Z-Z-A. P-I-Z-Z-A. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm throwing out all of these <laughs> tangents. That was beautiful. Okay. We're just biting on the tangent. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, and that's, I guess that's just how D&D goes. That's what D&D is about. Right, All right. Well, talking tangent. about pizza soup. More like T and T. <laughs> tangent and tangent. All right. All right, guys. She's going to be going to bed in like five hours. Uh, what do you guys want to do? You guys want to like, you guys want to write, try to write a novel or like. <laughs> you guys want to write a song or what are we gonna do? You, 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 you would, your first, your first thought wouldn't uh, have been a cookbook. You want like you have a novel in in progress right now? Uh, <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> uh, Look, guys, I'm like this I got, I got some questions. Now I gotta make about, it up about this door. There's bees behind there, right? There's bees. Yeah, there's bees. bees. Okay, and then in this room. There's a bunch of alcohol, which bees are very susceptible to. Are you trying to make mead? How long do you think that's going to take? What do you mean? We just fucking take this, like, pretty much pure grain alcohol and, like, dump it down these stairs. These bees will, lick pass out. Oh, yeah. He's not trying to get the honey from the bees to make mead like you thought. He's just trying to get the bees drunk. <laughs> just because? <laughs> I think maybe well, he's trying to just... go that way. Yeah, go that way so we can go down. Uh, hey, man, I, don't, I mean, look, if, we, or, if you have a way to get these bees out of here, go for it. But there's the spiral staircase down in the, the, the frowny face oh, hallway. That's true. I guess, I guess I don't need to do that. Where's Bav Lorna's room? Upstairs. Well, up she's she's right here right now, apparently. Yeah, We're but that's trying not to get her room. That's a study. The stairs to her room are in that room as well. So we don't so we necessarily be able to which get room? To the bed. B room? No. Okay, the wait. study. Hang on. Oh. Uh, a bunch of people were talking at once. Uh, Erica, what were you saying? So we have to go through that room to get to her bedroom, right? Yeah. The study. Yeah. yeah. Typically. That's right. The non-B room. The non-B room. <laughs> That's right. Wait, wait. B room. Can oh, I? Hey, um, were you guys gonna like, let I? me out of here? Uh, I don't. Or like, give me some clothes. It's getting kind of cold out here. Okay, fine, whatever. Do we have any blankets in here or whatever? Like old pig clothes? The old pig clothes? I don't yeah, know. You got, you got any pig skin that you fucking Scraps. peeled off the entire yeah, pig carcass? Sure. Leather. Let's give him this nasty. I was gonna make bacon, but fine. Or and pork rinds, some chicharrones? Yeah. Are you kidding some me? Some chicharrones. That's <laughs> right, buddy. <laughs> I was gonna say you can still get the bacon, but just like give me the chicharrones. Sorry, this guy's cold. You're giving him some. Okay, yeah, fatten them up. Real pig leather. Yeah. <laughs> All right, give him give him this big sheet of of chicharron. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's a new material. Oh, thanks, mate. Uh, a chicharron sheet. A chicharron <laughs> sheet. <laughs> Thank, thanks, my dude. Man, it's getting cold up here. So, like, is it going to be... Uh, were you going to... Uh... I don't know. Shut up. And then I'm going to, like, oh, go fly over there. Dirty. Oh, you fly <laughs> over there. Okay. That's dope. Uh, here, I'll fly you over there. 
and there's an open window there. This is, uh, here, let me give you a description here. Uh, you fly up there. Let me actually move this to this. I'm gonna move, oh, oops. I'm gonna make it so you can see better by putting you right there in the middle. Slivers of light enter through cracks in the shutters that cover three tall windows. Okay, so you're peeking through one of these cracks. Uh, the light reveals the shapes of several pedestals. On each one rests an object with a patchwork cloth draped over it. Wilting ferns and crumbling clay pots give the room its earthy smell. The floor is covered in a layer of straw. Hmm. What is this, a fucking stable? Right. <laughs> this doesn't look like a fucking office. I mean, you peeking around, it looks like yeah, on the pedestal. Wait, can I go to the other uh, side over here? Yeah, you can fly over there. I mean, it doesn't reveal necessarily more. Hey, bloody yeah, anything else. Does have you know, a horse? But it's, I mean, you're seeing right. closer on these pedestals are little... Uh, hang on. Yeah, can I, like... Roll for uh, cages. There's cages on each of these pedestals that hold little birds in them. Although, like, and you, you got closer to one here, and you can see these birds are like half one bird, half another bird stitched together. Oh. Oh no. Gross. Mainly different colors on top and bottom, so mismatched all over the place. Bro, Ming, no. Bloody toes. You know anything about these birds stitched together? Yeah, that's her thing. She's all into taxidermy. I don't know this. Are these birds? They're dead or are they alive? No, they're, I mean they were dead. Now they're alive. <laughs> Franken birds. Franken birds. It's it's Franken it's Frankenstein's bird is what they're called. <laughs> no, I'm just Frankenstein. Good tactic. Mary birdies. I saw a meme where it was like a picture of the last page of Frankenstein, and then someone wrote in. And then Franken, and then the monster turned around on the boat and said, "It's fine if you just call me Frankenstein. I really don't mind." <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, so you asked him about the birds. Yeah, and he said that they're just yeah, they're taxidermy birds. They're alive. She sends letters with those. Can I just fly around the rest of the building? Courier birds. Courier uh, birds. Yeah, you can, but. I mean, well, technically, like this. This said that the windows you could that had that sliver of light. All the other windows say they're opaque. So technically, you wouldn't be able to see anything unless you broke through or opened them. Okay. Are you wanting to open them? Well, at least see where they are. Okay. Well, then hang on. If I'm gonna do that, then let me officially. I mean, if it's gonna take too long, we just skip no. it up. Okay. I can do this. Site restriction, normal, update wall. All right. So you fly around. There's a window right here. Uh, and okay. That's the, I mean, from your understanding of the, the place, that seems to be where Babylorna is. You can actually hear conversation going on in there. Um, and then there's another window over here. Okay. I know we've been inside that one already. Mm -hmm. All right, so I mean, I guess there's, there's still upward, right but um, shit, I don't want to like get like You're too far away up in this window. Like, hey, what's up, bitch? Yeah. Um, uh, um, well, while you think about it, well, I, mean, I, I guess I'm gonna, uh, I'm go just gonna, uh, like park to see if I can hear, uh, what they're saying. Okay, give me perception. Uh, there we go. Character. Put it on your character shaft. My character. 16. Okay. I mean, it's kind of muffled. Um, I mean, it's it seems like they're wrapping up their meeting. Like, oh, nice to, nice to, to, to thanks you for coming. Um... I guess to let me know if you need anything. Oh, thank you so much. I'm, I will talk to you later. Do I recognize any of the voices? Other than Bavlorna? No. No. Pooh. Uh, and then you hear a door open. Whoa. Good Whoa. thing I'm not... I'm not in front of a door. <laughs> yeah, good thing. 
Oh, wait. Are we still in... We're in the office, right? And then I start running back towards the kitchen. You guys, Well, you guys yeah. are in the kitchen, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's well, my yeah, thought. Because then... I was like, oh, wait, a door. <laughs> okay, so you go back to the kitchen. And, and there, you oh, know, I think talking. maybe this door's about to open. We should uh, probably well, you, go... You go back to the kitchen and no one has entered this room. I mean, you heard a door clearly open. But no one, no one extra is in this room, and if you if you run over there, that door is still closed. Uh, well, guys, I heard them in there. They're coming and out of their meeting. I don't know. They went out a door, but not either of these ones, or I don't know. They have another room with a bunch of weird, uh, half parrot, half not parrots it's like a toucan bottom with a parrot on top and then probably the reverse as well because she had the leftover pieces right you know or a pigeon ways. with a toucan toucan on top so bloody toes does she have these meetings normally i mean she I, everybody comes up here asking her for shit trying to make deals uh i mean i guess she's having i mean she's never met with this lady before Mm. And apparently a door closed. So, do you think? Sorry, I'll put you on your She's. Do you think she'll come in to here, or you think she's left? Uh, I mean, she barely leaves this place. I don't think she's going anywhere. I wonder if just charm left. Oh. Uh. I, I was gonna see if there was anything in that other room. Like when I was passing on the way over here. What other room? Her bedroom? Are you talking about her bedroom? Like these two? Weren't you there? Like, That's what you looked in. That's where the birds are. No, because I, I remember I came back over here and then I went back over. <laughs> right. I don't understand. Okay, so you came back and told them about the door and then you left again to go look at on these boxes just again? look to see if i could find her coming through this room or anything oh, but then i really gotcha. wanted to uh, really wanted to check this room you fly around well you fly around and you kind of look through these cracks again she's not in the aviary <laughs> the birds or anything um i mean you can go to the window to the room where you were listening to her although you can't see through the window you can try to open it or i, I don't know what are you, what are you doing no, I'm going to do the uh, the mage hand wipe. The okay. mage hand wipe. Because remember, I can yeah, mage yeah, yeah. hand... From the inside. Any... Then... Yeah. Well, wait, wipe, wipe it so you just so you can see through it? Yeah, because remember, it's any point. Like, I don't have to see the point. Yeah. So it's yeah, any yeah, point yeah. with For sure. in front of me so I can wipe it. For sure. Uh, Okay, hang on. Let me make sure. Or just, you know, like a little tiny... So I can see through. Let me check something. Take a little peek. Come on, open this up. Uh. Okay. Well, whatever. That's fine. Uh. All right. Well. Uh. You do that. You cast your mage hand. Uh. You wipe the window. Uh. And uh, you well, okay, I'll, I'll make it harder, or not harder. Uh, okay, yeah, so you can see into the room. I'll open up the area for you to see. Oh, no. Uh, so inside of this room, you see, uh, let me get the description here. Uh, okay, this description is not valid anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me skim it for some stuff. There's a, a time-worn armchair across from another armchair, a couple of rugs on the ground, a stairway on the far end of the room that heads upstairs. Um, it's filthy. Dirty dishes and bits of discarded food lie everywhere. The furniture was perhaps once of fine quality, but now stains of mysterious origin model every surface, and the upholstery, the upholstery has been patched numerous times. Set with its 
Oh, set with its back to the wall on one corner is a hulking wooden cabinet. Sturdy legs support the bottom of the cabinet six inches above the door. The decrepit wooden staircase climbs up the wall in another corner. Um, on either side of the this, this chair here are small, tiny, little frog women. Lornlings. Mama. Frog women. Uh, and, and I see these give a, two. Give me a stealth, yeah. I mean, they're conscious beings. Give me a stealth real quick. They're capable of seeing you. They ain't conscious. Okay, maybe they are, but whatever. God, I was hoping you had that too. Okay, great. They're not necessarily paying attention. They don't see you immediately. All right. Well, then I'm going to take off and I'm gonna tell people about what's going on over here again. All right, well, don't, you don't have to drag. Hang on, just leave yourself there. I'll just okay, yeah. You. I'll drag you into the room. Hang on. All right, you drag me. I'm going to drag you. Zip, zip, ba -doom. All right, cool. So you return, and what do you tell them? Be like, oh, my God, there's two freaky big frog thingies, and then there's some frog ladies on the couch, and then uh, the other lady went upstairs, and, man, it's gross in there. They don't even do the dishes. Actually, you didn't see where they went. Oh, oh, well, I assumed, because... I don't know. Oh. All right, yeah, all right, um, well, then... So what were those, like, one ladies I saw? The fucking... The her Lornlings. The Lornlings? Yeah, so there's the two Lornlings. Like there's the two Lornlings, and then there's some frog ladies on the couch, and, um... No, the frog ladies are see. the Lornlings. That's what they're oh. called. Yeah. Oh, they were on the couches. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, there's two frog ladies on the couch. And then um, I think old lady went upstairs because I didn't see her, you know, go through the bird room. I don't know. She could have gone the other way. <laughs> have we been on the first level at all? You guys didn't uh, really explore the first level at all. Gary flew around and kind of poked in a couple of the windows. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Well, I mean, it was all on the first floor, right? We're trying to get to the third floor for Bev Lorna. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Who I mean, the... it, you think that's like a threat? Anything that was downstairs? It, it just I didn't, sounds like I didn't some weird thing in the. Stuff. So, from what I saw, there was like a big, like, center middle room with like a pool in the middle. Mm -hmm. There was nothing there, and There's then a on well, the side well, room. There's a well in the middle of the room. Well, actually, I guess it would make more sense if you just describe what you remember. But there's a well. Yeah, there's like a couple a... mirrors. There's some mannequins. There's some plates. There was a room full of taxidermy stuff and like a horse, a dead horse. Yeah, it just sounds like some weird Bavlona stuff. Some weird magic. Yeah, Anna, but I didn't see anything down there, so. Well, should we wait out the night and try to get Bavlorna when she's susceptible? What do you mean, wait out the night? Well, wait. wait. To sleep. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Well. Yeah. I guess wait out the day. Who's uh? Who's good at hitting on frog bitches? Uh, a specific feat that you can get. If you're a grunt. <laughs> Is it? No, I don't know. <laughs> Do you want to get with the frog lady? I ain't trying to get with the frog she's lady. Like, oh. She's like fist sized, so. Wait. That's Mushroom good. boy. Yeah! You want to go hit, hit on some bitches with me? I headbutt them? Uh, not that, that is quite. technically hit. Oh, yeah, I don't want to hit any bitches. Well, I mean, do they? Okay, this is hard. I do want blood, but I, I don't know what I want. Yeah, uh, it's fine. Would I'll just like go to, along with it. Would you like to spread your spores on some frogs? Oh, I'd love <laughs> to spread my spores. All right. All right. Well, Gary, Gary's heading in that direction. Oh, it was, what does everyone else think? Uh, I mean, yeah. I've 
I, I think we should wait it out until we got our full pack. Hey, I know you want to hit on frog bitches, but we should probably just chill out. Well, I'm not hitting on I'm a little cappy JW. JW. <laughs> I don't think he wants to think you're like encouraging him to hit on frog ladies. I'm just saying, a moist body for his uh, spores. I think oh, my spores I, I don't, don't, I don't need know if a that works. Body. They make any body mold. Never mind. Uh, I, can, <laughs> I can spurt anybody. I'm okay, a professional. Okay. Fine, then I don't have to do the frog ladies. I don't care. All right. What are, you, what are we doing? Just a long rest or what? We're just going to hang out together? Yeah, I mean, probably, I mean, is this area going to be populated at any point, or should we hide more in the kitchen? Aren't you in the well, kitchen? Well, I thought we were, uh, we were Bloody Toes, uh, staff now. Yeah. As, as an excuse. Well, so, I mean, I guess what, your question is just, is the where we're at, is she going to come in here at any point? Um, yeah. I guess Bloody Toes is just like... I mean, she doesn't usually come in here after dinner. She, she just trusts me to, to make it. Go. Cool. I think we're probably cool. safe. Yeah. I'll just chill well, here. Well, yeah. I mean, we could just act like we're yeah. making food. She True. probably wouldn't zip herself down to no, you know, or like walk in the kitchen. Mm. Right. Ooh. Can I fly up another level and check out the windows? Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Um, okay, well, Gary's going to fly outside, um, which is totally fine. Is I don't know if anyone else can fly or anyone else wants to do anything. What do you guys think? Not, not necessarily. I'm just chilling. Okay. I'm just yeah, eating. waiting it out. All right, so yeah, Gary's just flying, fluttering around the outside of this cottage, going up and up. Um, and you fly <laughs> up another level, which... Yeah, just kind of reporting back with everything. Like, oh my god, here's what I found. So there's less windows up here. You're flying around from where you're at. You're not finding any windows. It seems like it's an attic. It's the top floor. Uh, you get around over here. And, I mean, I guess you're going to do your mage hand thing, so... Uh, I'll let the window still be open. You come over to it. You mage hand in the <coughs> eager, eager, eager. Wipe, wipe the all the grime off of a spot in the window, uh, and you peer in, and you yeah you find a you see a bedroom there. It's empty at the moment. A ball of light bobs above the rafters, casting shadows over this room in which the owner's messy habits are on full display. Rumpled and moldering rugs share floor space with food scraps, stacks of dirty dishes, and tipped over clay pots whose plants have long since died. A bed that occupies one corner of the room has a pile of straw in place of a mattress. In the opposite corner stands a squat chest of drawers with a watering can resting atop it. The only other furnishing of note is a stocky wooden chest with a sturdy iron padlock. It sits in another corner between two closed doors. On the on the opposite side of the room is this doorway. But you do not spot her in here. Oh, and I guess you see a doorway to the south as well. Right. Um. So I guess I will uh, fly back down to the third floor and report back. With well, what say, I've I mean, seen. I'll say you do a full loop and you find a balcony on the south side of that floor. Okay. Uh, but you're gonna fly down and tell everybody about that. Yeah. All right. went upstairs she's not up there uh her airbnb is real gross <laughs> <laughs> well this kitchen very good order these unseen servants have been doing work oh yeah it's spotless now although the unseen servants are probably visible now because they're covered in blood and dirt Just from climbing <laughs> Wow, bloody toes! You keep a real clean kitchen, man. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, I don't. Those are literally, literally grime servants. Right I have now. nothing to do with this. I, <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know what's happening. I don't do any cleaning at all. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. All right. So, 
what were we waiting for here? Are you guys just going <clears> to <throat> hang out in here for the five hours and then... I mean, we're almost at time, so like at the five hours, you go up to her bedroom. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's kind of the move. I guess, yeah, I mean, we could wait till next week for that, you know, for the rest of the party. What yeah. Would you you want to wait in yeah. the kitchen and then just decide what to do once everybody's here? Yeah, that sounds like the best yeah, option like, at this point. Relate the plan to them, I'm sure they'll I think... be down. <laughs> The the plan mostly is to wait for Bavlorna to go to sleep, or it's late enough that we think that we can go up to the room and ambush her. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Go. All right. Well, you guys hang out in the kitchen. You guys sing songs with your with John Wilkes Booth. You guys Ooh. cook some extra stuff. Happy J Dubs. Oh, I got some. I got some food on deck. <laughs> Happy J Dubs. Hell yeah. Uh, and you guys just hang out until till Beck is done puking and bokey bonks. Uh, I guess he was just like playing with yarn. <laughs> playing with yarn, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, so I'm so sorry, you guys." Um, we just got lost. Like we couldn't find him. <laughs> <laughs> I found the craft room. Sorry. <laughs> oh, dude, you guys were in this room the whole time. Shoot. <laughs> All right, uh, and then. Yeah, that'll do it. That's that'll wrap up for this week. Credit. Wrap it up. All right, we're gonna get that bitch next week. You're going. Oh yeah. Get it. Hit it. I'm gonna get that recipe for the brioche. Yeah, but as soon as you see the ingredients, you're like, "What is this? Some sort of fairy tale?" <laughs> this is this is stupid. This won't I've never work. heard of it. This what is, is this? <laughs> Why does anybody put eggs with flour and yeast? That's this, this is dumb. Nobody this would do that. I don't even know what Yast is. Yast. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Hi, Yast. Yes. All right. See you guys next week. All right. Adios. See you guys. Thanks for liking John Wilkes Booth. You mean Cappy J Dubs? Uh, no, I don't. I mean, I guess. No, I yeah, I guess it's. Yeah, that's partly the thing. Yeah. Cappy but yes, I do mean that. All right. All right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> see you next week. Peace. Well, look what we did there. We done played a game, uh, had a good time, met John Wilkes Booth, the small mushroom who loves to kill leaders. Uh, wow. We really made it far. Was it last week? Or was it this game that I said John Wilkes Booth? I don't know. I feel like I used that name recently.